As 2020 draws to a close, I figured what better time is there to showcase my most used products over the course of this year. 2020 has been a pretty funky year in regards to finding out what shampoo and conditioner I like most. With that being said, the shampoo I've been using for about a year now has been a shampoo bar by Lush called New. Shampoo bars are still a relatively new and exciting thing to explore, so I try not to become too rigid with the ones that I do use, but New has been a really good addition to my routine. While the price has increased incrementally since first discovering New, at eight pounds it is well worth the price firstly it's a great option for the environment because you're minimizing plastic packaging but also because it lasts far longer than a traditional bottle of shampoo it's said to last about 80 washes which when you think about it is significant. I've tried so many conditioners over the course of this year, varying from your very affordable and accessible drugstore brands to the pretty high-end side of things. I can understand and appreciate that the more expensive conditioners I've tried have a better quality list of ingredients, but for the sake of affordability and accessibility, I'm going to have to say the Garnier 3-in-1 hair mask has probably been my favorite range when it comes to conditioners. Despite its super affordable price point, I feel like it's consistently performed throughout this year, which is why I'm confident recommending it to you guys. The next few products come from today's sponsor, Bloomon. If you've been following my hair growth journey, you know the level of significance I place upon a good hair oil. Cloud Control by Bloomon has been my go-to for a little over a year now. I'll be making a video on hair oil specifically very soon, but for now, incorporating just a drop or two of Bloomon's Cloud Control into your daily hair care routine is single-handedly one of the easiest ways to notice a positive difference in your hair's appearance as well as health. Now it's been a minute since I explored hair styling products and I feel like that's because my hair has kind of left the realm of hair styling products and entered this new realm of hair control and management. Hair creams are the go-to when looking to manage unruly, thick or even fine hair. I first used Bloomon's Ascend Volume Cream earlier this year and quickly recognized it as one of my favorites. It has all of the features you would want from a hair cream such as pliability, ease of application and control but even in longer hair you have so much more flexibility when it comes to styling. Despite being a hair cream it has a hold comparable to that of a traditional hair styling clay, wax, which to be honest is unheard of. Possibly my favorite feature has to be its thickening effect. It makes certain hairstyles look a lot cleaner and put together due to its ability of giving the hair a fuller looking appearance. On the topic of hair management and control, next come pomades. As your hair gets longer, the more traditional hair styling products such as your hair waxes, clays, pastes, and so on, will become increasingly ineffective and that's where pomades begin to gradually pedestalize. Bloomon's fifth sample has been a go-to for several years now and for anyone who approaches me asking how they could achieve a slightly more modern looking slick back or any style within that realm, I direct them to fifth sample. I used it when I had shorter hair and I continue to use it now that I have longer hair. It's incredibly versatile and the combo of applying a Send Volume Cream into damp hair and then fifth sample to finish is unmatched. I've partnered with Bloom on today to promote their Black Friday sale. Discounts start at 25% off for one product and go up to 35% off for three products. There's also a limited edition gift with every order over $30 and it's only available until this Sunday, the 29th of November. As far as quality of life products go, dry shampoo is the one. As a guy with longer hair, it can be super time consuming and a lot of effort to go through the motions of washing and drying your hair whenever it accumulates a little bit of oil. Dry shampoo curbs this process within literal seconds. I personally use Batiste's original formula and have done so for the past six months or so. The only thing I would say is not to go overboard and start using it excessively Although perfectly safe to do so, it isn't the healthiest for your scalp and can cause irritation. So use it maybe once during the week and then when your hair begins to accumulate oil again, shampoo and condition like you normally would. That brings this video to an end. As always, I'll be sure to link all of my favorites down in the description. Drop this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or found it helpful. It lets me know you guys like seeing these types of videos. Subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with the content. We're so close to 150,000 subscribers, which is just crazy. Feel free to check out my Instagram at lucasaid for the odd bit of hair inspo or lifestyle clip. But until then, I will see you all in the next one. Take care guys, bye bye.